Okay, as you see here, this is a starting point of my vegetable stock. These are the vegetables I've been saving over the past couple weeks. They're all odds and ends. Um, and things of interest you'll find here like eggplant uh, pieces. So that's an eggplant peel, some celery, and another eggplant end, some onions. One thing that you may find interesting is the paper from the onions as well as the onion pieces themselves. I read on the internet, so you know it must be true, that adding the paper to the paper from the onions to your vegetable stack is what makes it a nice deep brown color. Here's some tomato cores and ends. Basically everything that I've been using for the past couple of weeks. Here's some uh, ends of some green beans. Uh, you can certainly use. What I wouldn't use is I wouldn't use anything that will ultimately dissolve or become really bad in uh, after being boiled for a couple hours. So while I have some potato skins here, which is what these are, um, I wouldn't use potato pieces. While I have eggplant peels, I wouldn't use a piece of eggplant because that will fall apart and become too much of a part of the stock. You're looking for something to lay the foundation with, not to actually make a soup here. So this is what we're going to do. The one step that's different from this, and you would use, um, in terms of beef stock, you'd use some beef bones, and in chicken stock, obviously chicken bones, and with um, fish stock, fish bones, I once made uh, fish stock using uh, shrimp peels. It took a long time to save up the shrimp peels in order to make enough stock in order to make the soup that I was looking for. Um, so here we are. The one thing that's different, as I said, is the fact that we will roast these vegetables to get a little bit more flavor out of them. You do not have to roast the vegetables. You can put them in a stock pot as they are and start put the water on them and get them boiling. Uh, we're going to roast them first um, in order to get a little bit more flavor out of them. So we're going to put them in the oven. So the first step here, obviously, is to take and put them on this uh, cookie sheet that I have over here. And so we'll take care of that. This is the biggest cookie sheet that I have. And we'll try to spread these out evenly onto the cookie sheet and pick up the mess on the sides. My wife tells me that I'm a very messy cook, so we're going to end up making a lot of mess over the next uh, several demonstrations. But you can see there's no rhyme, no reason, just spread them out. And if you're making vegetable stock, you're going to notice, and you're saving your vegetable pieces to make it, you're going to notice that your ingredients are going to change over the months as you use different vegetables depending on the seasons. So this is a lot of fall and winter type vegetables. And so that's it. I preheated the oven. It is set at 350 degrees. There's the oven. You can see that it's set at 350. And now all I'm going to do is open it up. You can see there's nothing else in here. And just put it in. And then we will set this timer that I have right here. This is my little timer toy for 20 minutes. I'll come back and check. You won't have to sit here and wait the whole 20 minutes. We will stop and pick up the filming again. So we will turn this on and I will be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, we're back. You can hear the timer going off. We're going to check. Turn that off. We're going to check and see how our vegetables are doing in terms of roasting. It's always best to look every so often in order to determine what's going on. And things are looking a little well good here. And things are getting a little bit brown, a little bit tingy around the edges. But I think we're going to give this just about five more minutes. So remember, in terms of roasting or anything, it's always best to look a little bit beforehand uh, in order to make a determination because you can always give it more time, but once things have gone too far, you can't take that back. So we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, we're back. The timer's going off again. Our five minutes are up. So let's check and see how things are looking. And we'll look here in the oven. And yep, they're looking pretty good. Things have gotten a little dark. Uh, and so I think it's time to take these out. Um, it really, in terms of making sure that your vegetables are roasted, it's not like 
you're roasting a chicken and serving it to guests or anything. So you don't need to be 100% accurate as to when they're done. But you can see here on the green bean, it's got a little bit brown on the edges. Your papers go really dark. And if I tilted this up, you would see some juices coming out from mostly the tomatoes and things like that. So this is show us all the signs that we're ready. This thing, you can see this one here is a little bit wilty. So that's a good sign. These are a little bit brown right here. And so we're ready to go. Uh, but I'm going to let these cool off for about 10 minutes, uh, simply to make them easier to handle. Uh, been putting them in terms of taking them from the cookie sheet and putting them into the stock pot. Probably a little better to have them cool. You could put them in right now if you wanted to. Save yourself some time if you're in a hurry or something, uh, which you actually can't be with stock because the next step is going to take uh, an hour and a half to two hours. So you need to give yourself plenty of time. So um, we will be back in about 10 minutes to put these things in as a stock pot and get things going.